So, you guys probably see the title of the video. I know you're ready to hit that dislike button, but let me explain first. Let me explain something. I don't dislike JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't think it's a bad anime. I just don't understand JoJo's Bizarre Adventure whatsoever. I don't understand the draw to it. Is it the fights? Because if it's the fights, I can't say it's the best anime ever in terms of action, in terms of animation. Is it the uh, story? Don't really think it has the best story or best character development or anything like that. It has some cool characters and everything, but the characters for the most part stay the same the whole anime. As far as what I know, and I've seen everything up to half of part 4. I've seen the first half of part 4. Is it the weirdness and just the, no pun intended, bizarreness of it all? Um, if that was the case, it is a very weird, quirky, freaking, I don't know. That anime is super weirdly, obnoxiously weird. And I do enjoy some parts of, I do enjoy that part about JoJo. But, I don't think it's weird enough to the point of where that people told me Jojo was the best anime that they've ever seen and they told me it was their favorite anime now I won't ever say that an anime shouldn't be your favorite anime but I think that there's an anime that does every single thing that Jojo does better in terms of weirdness I would say that One Punch Man and uh, Mob Psycho 100 are more fantastically weird than Jojo was. In terms of action, there are tons of anime with better action, whether it's Code Geass, Iron Blood is Orphans, um, One Punch Man, Dragon Ball Z, and Super has better action in my opinion. Um, there is a lot of anime with better action. Fate Stay Night, Fate Apocrypha, Fate Zero. Um, there are tons of anime with better action and story, Steins Gate, Death Note, Naruto, um, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't understand the draw that Jojo has on his fans. Now that's what this video is about though. I need people to tell me, before part 5 comes out, I need people to tell me so I have a better understanding while I'm watching it. I need people to tell me what I'm supposed to be looking for when I watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Because for the most part, I just don't know. I don't get it. I look at this anime. I see a bunch of okay fights. It has a story that's, I guess, captivating enough, but not superbly entertaining to the point where I have to know what's next. Because for the most part, the only reason why I watched JoJo is just because I, I had to just, it was, I watched JoJo constantly with a wonder of maybe it gets better the next part, maybe it gets better the ne next part, maybe the next part is what everyone is super excited for. Now, and I, I have to admit it, every time, every new part in JoJo, it was a more improved, more entertaining uh, piece of content, I guess I could say. But, every time I watched JoJo, I got a little bit more disappointed because although it got better, it was still not exactly what I expected it to be. Stardust Crusaders is awesome though. I do love Stardust Crusaders and I love Jotaro because he seems to be like a more, uh, I don't know, exaggerated ver version of Yusuke Yurameshi. And Yu Yu Hakusho is one of my favorite anime of all time because the Dark Tournament is one of the best things in anime history. And use case just like the best blend of someone who's humanly arrogant with a soft side. Um, Jotaro was that same exact way, except for he was just like more extremely. He was more of extreme of an, of an asshole. It was it was weird. Like, even to his mom, who he loved, he was an asshole. But uh, yeah. I don't understand exactly what I'm supposed to be looking for when it comes to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now I'm definitely going to watch JoJo's Part 5. I'm going to finish watching JoJo's Part 4, uh, Diamonds Unbreakable I think it's called. 
now. I'm going to need people in the comment section to help me out. Don't shit on me if you watch this video. Comment me why you enjoy this anime so much. Comment me your favorite part in the anime that I guess captivates why you enjoy the anime so much. And yeah, I think that'll be all that I need. Because, I mean, even though I don't love the anime, I still have parts that I do fantastically enjoy. I enjoy the uh, Lalihu guy, the weird clown stand dude. I don't even know. Like, that part was just so weird. And I don't know. That part was amazing to me. I like Dio and I like Jotaro. And for the most part, for the rest of the anime, yeah. I don't get it. I just don't understand it. But yeah, that's all pretty much for the most part what I have to say about the anime. Um, this is the first anime video I've ever made. Hopefully it won't be the last. I don't know what I'm going to be talking about next. I'm probably just going to be talking about a bunch of anime that I enjoy watching and that I don't understand watching. Or I might rant about Bleach because I hate that anime. It's King Dub 7 signing off. Peace.